Welcome back everyone to our traffic light project. In this video we are going to draw our traffic light on our panel. And so here's an image of what we're going to draw. You can see that there's a basic box and inside of it there are three circles, one for red light, one for yellow light, one for green light. Our overall width of the traffic light is 50 pixels and our overall height of the traffic light is 130 pixels. Each of the diameters of the circles are 30 pixels and there's a 10 pixel offset between the outside of the inner rectangle and the beginning of the circle. So we need to add these attributes to our um, traffic light panel and then use the fill oval and fill rectangle um, methods in the 2D graphics library. So let's get started. So we'll go up to the top and we'll add in our um, values. So we'll say private final int x is equal to 60, y is equal to 50, width is equal to 50 and height is equal to 130. Now because all these are integers we can use multi-assignment and do them all in one line. Um, I've also got to do the diameter of the circle so I'll do private final int diameter we're setting that equal to 30 pixels and private final int x offset is equal to 10 and y offset is equal to 10 also. And I could put all these on one line but I just kind of grouped them together in a log simple logical order here. Put the offsets together, the circle diameter together, and the attributes for the rectangle together. And I believe that our area is here is because this needs to be a comma and not a semicolon. Okay. Now in our, um, we will also need to add an instance of our traffic light. So we'll say private traffic light. We'll call it, just name it a light. And then when we construct our traffic light will instantiate our light variables to say light equals new traffic light. And then down here at the bottom in our paint component method we can draw our rectangle first. So we'll say draws the rectangle and we'll say page.setColor and we'll make it the outside light gray. And then we will um, page.fillrec is the method where we'll pass in our x, y, width, and height. And then we'll draw the red light. And we'll say if the light at index of bulb, of lip bulb, is equal to zero, this is going to tell me if the light is on or off. So if this light is on, we'll set it to the color to red. So we'll say page.setColor and we'll pass in color red. Now I have not made this method yet in light. So we're going to go have to go back to our traffic light and add this method that tells us um, which index we're on and whether the bulb is lit or not. So let's go back to traffic light before we go on in our conditional. 
And we are going to go into our methods area down here. And here is my method, which I added previously, that tells me if the bulb is lit. So here's the method name, index of lit bulb. I'm going to set a counter at zero. And I'm going to use a while loop, because I don't know how many times I want this to iterate through, because somebody might be pushing the button to change the light many times. So I'm going to say, as long as i is less than the lights array dot length, which is 0, 1, and 2 for red, yellow, and green are bulbs, and the light at i is off, okay? So we'll use the Boolean is off to determine if the light is off, then go ahead and go on to the next light. However, if the light is on, not off, then we want to return that index. And then we're just ending the method here. So now we can go back to our index of bulb conditional and we can finish it with the other lights. We can say for the yellow light, say draws the yellow light. And we'll say if light dot index of lit bulb. is equal to 1, then the yellow light is on, so we'll say page.setColor color.yellow and this should oh, I skipped a line, I apologize, I need to go back up here and if that light is not on, then I need to set it to gray. So I'm going to say else page dot set color color dark gray. And then what we'll do is um, fill that oval, which is at the first position. So it's the, the x distance plus the x offset, which is the distance between the square and the light. And then we have for the y, we have the y distance from the edge of the square and the y offset, which is the distance from the inner square to the circle. And then we have the diameter of each circle. And we need the x and y, and both of those are the same because it's actually dealing with the bounding box, which is around the circle. So it's the diameter of the circle along the x and y axis. So that's it for that conditional. Let's go back down here. So then we have our second light and our second else. So else we're going to um, set it to dark gray again. If the yellow light is not on, And then we need to fill it. So we'll say page.fill oval. And then we have the same values again. So, but this is our second light. So now we've got to account for the distance of the first light and the second light. So we're going to say x plus x offset. And then we've got y plus the diameter of one of the lights plus. 2 times y offset. And then we've got diameter and diameter. So if we look at our picture again, we can see that for the second light, in order to draw this, we need the diameter of the light, but this distance is going to be the y distance plus 1, 2 y offsets. 
and the x is going to be x plus the x offset still. So if we go back here, we can see that for our second light, it's still x plus the x offset. That distance hasn't changed. But for the y, it's the y distance plus the diameter of the light plus two different y offsets. So that's how we get that number. And it looks like we have an error up here for some reason. It's four ints. And I've got five, so this needs to be x plus x. And that fixes that error. Because fill oval only takes four parameters. Okay, so we've gotten the yellow light drawn, and now we need to do the red light. So we're going to say draws the, I'm sorry, green light. Now we'll say if light dot index of lit bulb is equal to 2. then page dot set color and we're doing green and then else we need to fill it with dark gray so page dot set color color dot dark gray and then we'll fill it we'll fill oval x plus x offset there, so there's not any change there between the three bulbs but again now we've got two lights to handle. So we've got y plus 2 times the diameter because we have two other diameters for lights. And then plus we have three y offsets. So we say 3 times y underscore offset. And then we have diameter and diameter. And then we have our end of our method here. So I'll go ahead and put in an end comment. And then this is our end of class. Don't tell me 